Well, this Pride Month, we're featuring the faces of those who appear in this year's Portrait of Pride. Tonight, a pastor who is working to open the minds of the faithful by being himself. WBC's Brandon Truitt with the story at the intersection of religion and identity. On any given day, you'll find Pastor Brandon Thomas Crowley in his office under a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but his real work is done here. You've got to learn how to see your differences as what God wants to use. Behind the pulpit of Myrtle Baptist Church in Newton, the 37-year-old has come a long way from his childhood in Rome, Georgia, but he knew from the beginning he wanted to preach. I've always been very enamored by the black church. I was raised in the black church. Uh, the deacons and leaders of my home churches were like superheroes to me. And I looked up to them. They were my Michael Jordans. But there's an added layer to this story. Crowley is gay, and he says he always has been. When I would preach on the front porch, I would often do so in my grandmother's high heels. Crowley navigated a career of ministry cloaked in one of the most contentious cultural debates of our time, homosexuality at the intersection of religion. He ran into resistance from the beginning. I remember one time there were kids outside that were throwing rocks at me and laughing at me because I was on the front porch preaching with uh, a robe on, with my grandmother's high heels and a stiff rag that she used for washing dishes. And I ran in the house and I was crying with my Bible and she looked at me and she turned me about face and she said, you go back out there and you continue preaching. His family affirming from the start. Identities, be it sexual or religious, can be hard to balance for many in the LGBTQ community. It seems impossible for some. Crowley says it's not always been smooth sailing, but he's been confident he was not the problem. I have always known that I was queerfully and wonderfully made. The queering that I do in churches is not bringing churches into the world or bringing the world into churches. It's actually drawing churches closer to the original message of Christ, which is about love and acceptance. Crowley went to Morehouse Harvard Divinity School and finished with a doctorate from Boston University. He became pastor of the historic Myrtle Baptist Church in 2009. Years later, he would be guest preaching at another Boston church where he would meet Tyrone Sutton years later they would marry I'm proud of the work that that he's been able to do and I encourage him so much because it means so much for musicians like myself Sutton is successful in his own right the assistant principal at the Boston Arts Academy plays organ at a different church the soundscapes in our home are me upstairs mm -hmm. preparing for sermons and yeah. rehearsing my sermons <laughs> and out loud and I'm down on the piano just getting you know playing the tracks that I'm getting ready for Sunday morning Sutton was raised in Alabama just an hour from where Crowley grew up in Georgia Georgia, and he knows the struggle of coming up gay in church. And we have many times had to sit through off so often and listen to homophobic sermons, uh, homophobic messages in the church while still sitting there and have to play behind the, yeah, contributing to the process. And, and when you love doing what you do and you feel like you can't do it unless you hide, that it does something to you over mm, time. Mm. It really messes with you over time. Their goal in sharing their story to inspire others to be more themselves. Crowley, with a lesson from his grandmother, he still carries with him today. She would say to me all the time, baby, don't ever allow people to make you think there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. What a little love, grace, and acceptance can do. In Newton, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. Mm. Wow. There is such a power in authentically being yourself. He's so great, too, at spreading this message of love. And, uh, boy, the energy he yeah. has. Just doing a great job. I'm through a lot.